Are video games hard or am I just a bad gamer? I originally thought of, about this with the new release of the game 12 Minutes, which features some notable voice acting such as Daisy Ridley and William Defoe. The game is about a character on a loop. You are either killed in every loop or kill yourself or kill someone else and are sent back to the moment you arrived home that evening. You, as the main character, have to go about a complicated and arbitrary task of figuring out the mystery of your past that you'd much rather forget. The reason I bring up this game is it is so complicated that missing a step or taking too long on a particular step renders the loop fruitless and you might as well just cut it and jump back to the start. Some loops you have to go through the agonizing process of rinsing and repeating certain steps just to gain information for a future loop. This game is frustrating. It's hard. And if you want to unlock any of the secret endings, you might as well just look up a walkthrough online or watch someone else play the game. There is value on YouTube in bad video game content. Watching someone struggle, someone die, someone fail at the game can be entertaining. From the YouTube side of things, this is a good way to guarantee new viewers, clickbait, good watch time, good reviews. Having a bad reaction to a game or being bad at a game. No offense to Matt Pat, who I saw play 12 minutes, I also shared a what the hell moment when everything was revealed. But I could spend all day going into the plot and twist of 12 minutes. We will do that another time. That game aside, should gamers be good at video games? And what warrants a bad game from a good game as terms of difficulty? I want us to take a jump back in time, go to 2017. This game is released called Cuphead. Now, if you were on the internet at the time, especially in the gaming community, you already know where I'm going with this. If not, let me give you some insight. Cuphead is a game that is known for being hard. It's also a game known for its animation, including Netflix releasing an animated show of this video game shortly. I don't know, the trailer's released, I'm not sure where they are in production of that. When this game was released, a video game journalist named Dean Tash... I apologize for the pronunci pronunciation of this name. This guy played Cuphead live at a gaming convention. It took him 12 agonizing minutes to get through the tutorial. And then proce he proceeded to die multiple times within the first level of the game. This opened up the debate on if video game journalists should be good at their job. But I'm not here for that debate. There are multiple videos on that debate. What I'm curious about it is the review he gave afterwards. He gave Cuphead a scathing review, calling it a terrible game, you know, anything along the lines of unplayable. Then this guy comes out on a small YouTube channel and films his five-year-old son playing Cuphead, specifically the tutorial, and compares it with Dean's footage. His son, being 12, takes a while to figure out the mechanics, but succeeds where Dean struggles. Is the game playable? Or unplayable. I bought Cuphead and I am not a good gamer at all. I will be the first to let you know. I justify the purchase based on its art. And I think this is where video games being hard comes in. Is the difficulty of the video game necessary or unnecessary? This is a great way to judge when buying games. If a game is unnecessarily hard and it doesn't add anything to it, like story or replayability, then maybe it is a bad video game. But if the game is hard for a specific reason, challenging more seasoned gamers, puzzles, mind-bending practices, there's a lot of reasons to make your game difficult in the way that it plays to the story, tone, setting, and theme. And I think we're seeing more of that now. Cuphead, I would reason, is difficult in the way that is reasonable. It's a hard game, it's a run and gun, but the animation and the music of it almost make up for the fact that you are constantly dying. So to sum this all up, 
when you look at a game, especially if you're looking at investing money in a game, think about the playability of it. If it's needlessly difficult or if it's difficult for a reason. 12 minutes, I would argue, is needlessly difficult. There is no option in the game to save your progress, to uh, save knowledge from previous loops. Your character will do random things like say questions they've already had answered and be provide the same result every time they hear that answer. So while you already know the information, your character reacts like they are processing it again for the first time. This is frustrating and what I would deem needlessly difficult. So the main question, should video games be hard? Absolutely. If it adds to the experience, the experience of the story, the experience of the plot, the tone, the setting, things like that. I'm not a video game journalist, but even if, as I was dying throughout Cuphead and failing at its tutorial, I would say that the game is actually quite enjoyable and quite fun and worth the price it's listed as. To kind of give Dean some credit, he has since replayed the tutorial and posted new footage, but like that was new information that happened recently and I haven't seen anyone on the internet talk about it. So I'm sorry, Dean. <laughs> like. Honestly, I think there's a lot to be said when you frame things around your experience and especially in the realm of the internet, if you go, from my experience, my personal opinion, this is what happened. However, I could see where someone enjoys the game. I feel like that's more along the lines of where video game journalists could be going and less on simple gut reactions. But all that being said, thank you guys for watching so much. Um, I am kind of in a different setup. I'm trying to get good audio right now. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to thank you guys for watching. I do have a Ko-Fi and Patreon in the description. Um, Patreon I'm doing some reorganizing on, so for a while it'll just kind of be there. I'll post when new videos are going live, but that's pretty much it. Ko-Fi, uh, or coffee, you can donate three dollars, um, essentially like funding me through caffeine um which is you know we don't need another reason to uh justify my caffeine addiction but we'll do it um this january i'm doing a gaming january so there are multiple video games that i'll be finishing and those series will be coming out on the channel um i know me and my brother will be revisiting dark souls 2 so that will be fun um, i will be finishing a nancy drew game on the channel and probably going back and uh have some cyberpunk footage and flame in the fud footage so if you know any of those video games or you're interested in seeing me play through those games you can go ahead and subscribe and then video essays like this will be released on a weekly basis so monday or friday i'm still trying to figure out what works with my schedule but thank you guys so much for watching um and i'll see you next time be safe